If you enjoy the video and my content, please consider supporting my channel over on Patreon at patreon.com slash katiedidart. Thanks so much! Hello, hello, my adorable squidlings. Katie here, and today we're going to be opening up the March 2019 Art Snacks box. I have information if you're not familiar with what Art Snacks is in the description below, so go check it out. But for now, we're just going to open this box right up. Alright, so first things first, in the box we have got the menu card that I'm going to set to the side. I like to be surprised on what is inside the box. This is actually the anniversary box for Art Snack, so they tend to pack it with a few more goodies than normal. Um, first off, we've got a traditional Art Snack sticker. This is what you used to get uh, every single month. Now they've started adding patterns and stuff, but it's nice to see that they went back to the original for the anniversary. Then. We have got the candy. I'm going to pass this one on. It is a Dum Dum Sucker and it is butterscotch. I'm not a big fan of butterscotch, so I'm going to pass that on. And then the one thing that they teased a lot was this cute little enamel pin. Um, again, this is for their anniversary. I believe it's their sixth anniversary. And this is really cute. It says Official Art Snacker and it's just a little pin back enamel pin. Super, super cute. And then now on to the art supplies. So the first thing we've got over here that is not in the green tissue paper is a little jar of, actually it's a big jar, of Ecoline um, ink, I think. Alright, so this is Royal Talons Ecoline Liquid Watercolor at a $6.95 retail. It's also new and improved. Things are about to get intense. Royal Talons Ecoline Liquid Watercolor has a dye-based formula that lends extreme luminosity. The possibilities are endless with this watercolor for a few reasons. Number one, it's not waterproof when dry, so you can work on it further by re-wetting it. Number two, it has a very short drying time. Number three, you can decrease its intensity by thinning with water. Um, and you can pair it with a product in the box that I'm not going to say because it's in here um, for a dynamic creative experience. Then everything else is in this green tissue paper, so I'm just going to kind of let that roll away and get everything else kind of over here. And we're going to open this. Alright, so we've got a, quite a few items in here actually. First off is the item that I did not name a minute ago. And that is the Ecoline brush pen by the same company, which is Royal Talons. Um, I've got a nice brilliant blue color, really like that. This is a $4.25 retail, introducing the Royal Talons Ecoline Liquid Watercolor in pen form. Full of the same concentrated formula found in your new bottle of ink, this pen has a brilliant transparent color that will liven up your artwork. Seamlessly transition from bottle to pen and make precise lines or energetic strokes. Dip the pen tip directly into the bottle to experiment with gradation. So I feel like that could actually stay in the tip of this, but hey, uh, that would be really fun to experiment with. Next up, we've got actually two pencils, and these are both by Karen Dash, and they are both Swisswood pencils, and these pencils actually smell really, really good. So they are a $5.45 retail each, um, so it's a combined retail of $10.90. Um, this is a staff favorite of the month. Experience the beauty of Switzerland's forests. With these Swiss wood pencils from Karen Dash, you'll find two varieties in your box, one produced from dark beech wood and one from pine. Both pencils feature a super silky HB graphite and impressive point retention. If you sniff the tip of the dark beech wood, you'll get a whiff of brown sugar. And then the last product in the box is actually from King Art. You might remember them from last month's box. We got a paintbrush by them. This is an ink line pen in .05, and I believe it is a blue tip. Uh, here's what the nib of that looks like. King Art Inkline Fine Line Color Ink Pen. That's a mouthful. <laughs> a $2.99 retail. Whether you're jotting down quick sketches on the go or creating outlines for a masterpiece, the King Art Ink Fine Line Ink... Blah, 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 blah. The King Art Ink Fine Line Color Ink Pen will never let you down. This reliable pen features archival waterproof ink and a durable, precise 0.45 millimeter tip. Just to recap, we got a Dum Dum's Butterscotch Sucker, we've got an Art Snack Sticker, an Art Snacks Enamel Pin, an Ecoline Watercolor Ink in a dark black color, 
two Karen Dash pencils in Beechwood and Pine, both HB lead, of course, um, an Ecoline brush pen in blue, and then a King Art fine liner, also in blue. Not quite sure what the blue theme between all of these art subscription boxes have been lately. Um, I've been getting a lot of blue, so um, maybe... I don't know. We'll see what we come up with. I'm actually excited that we have a really dark color so we can kind of um, play around with those. But yeah, I'm excited to see what I can create with this. Um, so I'm going to head into an illustration now and we're going to draw and do some things and experiment with uh, these art supplies. So let's go. All right, now we're getting into the illustration part of it. And first, I'm just sketching out my idea with my Karen Dash pencil. This time I decided to use the Beechwood pencil, but they're exactly the same, um, same lead and everything. So I do want to let you all know that the retail value of the box, um, not including like the pin or anything, is $25.09. I'm not grandfathered in anymore, so that means I also pay $24 a month for it. Um, and it's worth a little bit more, I, so that's always good, I guess. Um, this box wasn't like a knockout for me. It wasn't bad by any means. It just, I don't know, the, I, these supplies weren't my favorite, just in general. My favorite item in the box wa were, was, <laughs> uh, the Karen Dash pencils. I really like them, and I haven't had a Swisswood pencil in a while. I used mine up pretty quickly. Um, so I am glad to have not one, but two of them, because I do really enjoy the lead. Um, I really didn't care too much for the Ecoline brush pin. Um, like, I liked it, but I would have liked to have had more colors, I guess, is my biggest complaint. Um, I don't know. Um, I, I really liked the ink in them. I liked how water soluble both the ink bottle and brush pen were. Um, I don't know. It's just, I wish I had more and I'm not really complaining, like, for art snacks or anything because I know that they can only send so many items. Um, I'm just saying I might want to get more for myself to try out eventually. Um, the King Art fine liner was just your typical fine liner. I don't really know how else to talk about that. Um, it was blue, which was really cool. I don't think I have any blue fine liners. It was a little thick for my taste, but I was also working really small, so that's kind of on me. Um, but overall, you know, the box was nice. It's been nicer than some of the other boxes that we've had recently. So I'm not complaining too much, even though it literally just sounded like I complained the whole time. Um, the box was nice. The box was fun. And I got to doodle a little doodle. This is for my Patreon theme of priestesses over on Patreon. If you're not a patron and you want to get really cool rewards, you can get it. go ahead on over there. There will be a link on the screen. So I think one of the things that was the scariest about doing this piece of artwork is the fact that they were like, oh, hey, you can dip that pin into the ink bottle and get um, gradation. And I was like, am I going to ruin my pin by doing this? Like I've done the tip to tip method, but I've never just outright dipped a pin into an ink bottle, so that was really scary, and I thought I was going to ruin it, but you know what? It didn't actually, um, it wasn't that bad. Um, I had a very limited color scheme of blue pen, blue marker, and gray. It wasn't really black. It was like a dark charcoal gray, um, color of an ink, so it was pretty interesting to kind of make this work for me. Another thing I found that was really, like, not difficult, but something I had to keep in mind of is that everything reactivates, so I have to be very careful painting things next to each other. Um, I kind of forgot about the pencil. I tried to do some shading, but it didn't really work out for me too much, so I just decided to go in and uh, just continue on shading with the blue and the gray. Um, and I think this piece turned out okay. It's definitely not my best piece ever, but it was a fun piece and I really liked it. And um, adding gel pen to the end definitely uh, helps. I did not add that in the video, but it definitely helped at the very, very end. So um, thankful for that. <laughs> uh, overall, again, fun box. My favorite item was the Karen Dash pencils. If you got the box, let me know in a comment below what you liked, what colors you got, what your favorite item in the box was, etc. Um, and yeah, I'd like to hear from you. And we can chat about it, I guess. <laughs> I want to thank you all so, so incredibly much for watching this video. It means a lot to me. 
um and i hope to see you in another video soon um don't forget i post every single friday unless i say somewhere otherwise but anyway here's a look at the final piece again thank you so much for watching Also, hey, these are my patrons this month. Thank you all so incredibly much for being a patron. And if you want your name at the end of here, go pledge my Patreon. Everybody there gets their name at the end of my video. So whoop whoop. If you're not already part of our cute squid pod, there's a subscribe button down below. I also have social media in the description below. And until next time, my adorable squidlings, toodaloo.